I want to go to something from this century. <laughs> We're something never getting on this show at, again. Ever. At the never. cutting edge. Apple Pay. We all know that uh, you're going to be able to oh, use yes. your iPhones. Ed, you have put in a complaint over um, Apple Pay being frozen out here. You've Good. written to the RBA, have yes, you? Yes, I have actually. I wrote to them uh, today. Um, you can use uh, now Apple Pay. If you have Amex, you can use your iPhone. You can use the Apple Watch that is being modelled here by the lovely Paul Murray. It cost me a lot of money. And, no your, and your iPad. So when you go to, for the people, for the uninitiated, when you go to pay for something at the at the cashier where you would use PayWave on your credit card, instead you just put your phone up, it activates, you use your, your um, thumbprint or your fingerprint to pay for Perfect. a bank. Um, so there's this Barney that's going on between the banks that don't want to give up anything of their interchange or they want you to use their platforms to pay. Um, Apple that wants to charge, take a clip on the way through, and the banks are saying, why would we pay that much? Apple has also, in other countries like the UK, reduced that. So they can come to the party. The banks should be coming to the party. And we should certainly be arguing for technology neutral um, uh, payment systems so that we don't have the banks saying we want you to use our app instead of theirs. So is this another case of Australian regulation and being slow to catch up with the technology that's already going to be here? Well, I think the regulations could um, you know, possibly push for more tech neutral um, frameworks, but this is largely a case of the banks don't want to give up something and Apple doesn't want to give up something and really you know, in the payment system environment, and this is a much more secure way mm. of So just finally, before we go to the break then, how long till we can use Apple Pay? Or we're using it with If you're an Amex customer, you can use it, and if you're happy to wear the higher transaction okay. cost, you can use it, but if you want to use your debit card or any other, um, any other payment you know, uh, avenue or bank, you can't. Can I just say that, and I completely agree, but also is that, you know, um, I, I gave up on bank bashing a long time ago only because we're all invested in it, the superannuation, all the rest of it. But I had an incredible experience with sort of current technology and current banks. I won't name the bank, but um, basically my, my tap and go card doesn't work anymore because it's been overused. Um, I so, I, so, so I've gone into the bank and gone, look, what do I have to do to replace the card? They said, well, have you got the app? You can, re, you can order a new card on your app. So the idea of having to go to the branch to replace the card doesn't exist anymore. So the whole thing is they're getting it on some levels, mm. but on others oh, they yeah. don't want to share it. So the whole thing is they're trying to force you into an app-only experience. And I'm loving the cardless way you can Got record it. Yeah, I don't want a wallet. Oh, I love tap, 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 tap. Go tap, tap everywhere. No, but going to an ATM without your card. Going to an ATM without your card. It's just... You Innovation. We're big on the I word. Oh, no. oh, whoa, 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 We're going to go to a break. We've got plenty more. I we will get back to Trump back. Watch, and we're going to do what you should be ready to watch on the weekend. And I'll just keep talking and just talk amongst yourselves. Someone Seriously. play an ad. <laughs>